I have an update on Oxford Area School District and their school board member, Jennifer, who likes to say racist and ignorant things about undocumented immigrants, assuming that they drive down test scores and constantly refer to them as those people or illegals during a school board meeting. Since my last video, there has been a school board meeting where a lot of the people in the community spoke out against Jennifer Keyes. And no, they didn't bring up her husband, Thomas. If you don't remember who he is, he is absolutely by far the worst human being I have ever covered. For those of you who've been asking, no, he's not on the registry because he was prosecuted in 92, I believe. That was years before Megan's law in his state. And it's not retroactive to when he did it. So no, he's not on the registry. I mean, the whole community knows now. Everyone knows now. While they didn't bring it up at this meeting, they were bringing it up online. Um, I, I could see it all over Facebook. Thomas Keyes also did not show up to the school board meeting. For those of you wondering how involved was Thomas in his wife's position in the school board, take a look at these comments he has left all over the internet. Listen to what these brave women said to Jennifer Keyes at the school board meeting. As someone who came to this country not speaking any English, with the exception of a few, few key words like thank you and please, I can assure you that students who come into this country are very capable of not only, only learning English, but multiple languages, as it is in my case. I speak Spanish, English, Portuguese, and some French and Italian. I ask you, Ms. Kern, how many languages do you speak? Or the fact that she couldn't bring herself to call them what they really are, children and students. Amen. And instead, repeatedly refers to them as illegal or those people. This hate being thrown around our community all started with a board member did not know her common education law and civil rights law. Our country has federal laws to protect every child's right to a free, appropriate public education. And nobody's political or opinion can change that. End of story. At one point, a speaker asked all those in the audience that want Jennifer Keyes to resign to please stand up. Jennifer responded by doubling down. I think that if we are able to get this information about these students when they arrive, it's helpful that the community is aware of it and that the school board is made aware of it. We should make sure that they're in the policy, listed out clearly, and so that we can know what is happening in our community. Following this, supposedly... Jennifer Keyes turned in her resignation. However, before the board had a chance to accept her resignation, she rescinded it because she believes this will all blow over. Another school board member that seemed to be supporting Jennifer Keyes is Mike Blessington, or real-life Hank Hill. Bah! He's worse than she is. So, like, Oxford Area School District, this guy needs to go too. 